Hey there, this is Malorian, and this is going to be a War Machine Battle Report, and it's going to be me against my brother. Now, this is always one of those things, you know, brother versus brother, and in this one here, he said, hey, I got a new caster I want to try out. Let's just, you know, let's, let's play that type of thing, right? So, all right, let's do that. It was actually perfect timing, because I just got a brand new caster as well, but uh, unfortunately, looking at this, he is running the Harbinger. So, uh, I don't know if you heard, but uh, Harbinger is kind of all right. He is running two Reckoners. There is is the uh, character paladin there. Of course, he has the Aaron, so the UA in the front. There's the Piper. There's the book. He also has a Hierophant. There is also the the one solo down there in the bottom left. He also has the Rax and the Battle Engine. From my side here, I just got Barnabas. I had all the, the Gator casters except for this one, so I'm really excited to try him out. Uh, this is actually going to be a Tier 4, so on this I'm going to have two Spitters and a Rassler. They're all a cheap pointer, a, ch a point cheaper. I also have two Posse and a Crow Hunter, and uh, that's pretty much the list. All right, so, oh, sorry, and I also have Snapdrawn Wrong-Eye. They're kind of important. So the game we're playing here is the Incursion. So there's the three flags there. Um, one of them is going to disappear at the end of turn one, but it can't be the middle one. You need five points to win. You get one for controlling, two for dominating. However, uh, you only get two for dominating on the outside flags. So my plan here is probably to go up there and try and win by uh, scenario. Killing Harbinger is pretty dang tough. I'm also going to have the Bog Trogs coming from a flank too, so that's really handy in a scenario like this because they can just come in and I don't really care what flag disappears, I just go to the other one. Uh, by the way, he also has Epic Iris, and you know, that's kind of a deal because if I put up Iron Flash or something, uh, she can just shoot it off, so that wouldn't be nice. Uh, looking at the deployment here, I really am hoping that the left flag stays because then his Reckoners will have a hard time with that forest. And uh, I mean, I have my Snapdrawn Wrong Eye right there, but we'll see what happens. So, uh, first of all, I, this is my first time having Iron Flesh, and uh, my brother was kind of looking forward to me making this mistake because he's run with this for a while. And uh, the main thing here is when you put on Iron Flesh, you can't charge or like your minus one speed so that really messes with things so what you need to do is move up your gators first then put on iron flesh and i did that in the wrong order and so these guys are a little bit further back kind of a silly mistake otherwise i uh, you know the three rings you see there already those are the ones i have start there which are shallow i put down two swamps so that you know they can't be seen or shot and really i'm just running up and riling all right, so on his turn, he's kind of moving up as well. Uh, nothing super aggressive. Just wanted to make sure that he's in a good counter position because, hey, he's going to be the first one to get the score. And uh, the nice thing I saw here is Iris actually went pretty far wide, which means that my bog trogs can get the jump on her if I want. Uh, unfortunately, or fortunately, the one over here was the flag that disappeared. So kind of sad that means uh snap jaw here is for no reason but you know the, the other flank isn't that bad either and while i'm going there's the bog trogs might as well kill epic iris anyway uh so here i'm going to be coming in and uh charging in i'm going to be able to kill epic iris i was hoping i could get the rupert too but it just did not happen so one person ran over to try and just tie them up but otherwise uh yeah not too bad now uh, this point here is really where I'm just trying to get myself into position. So I, I know that when Harbinger pops her feet, I'm going to be really stuck. Uh, and so here's another bad thing that with this matchup. Now, my feet is knocked down, but he has the book, which can say no knockdown. So basically that book can say that my feet just isn't a feat. The nice thing I can do apart from that, though, is that even though he has tough and he can, you know, martyr and all this stuff, Putting corrosion on him is a nice way to really force a lot more of these. So my spitters go up, they shoot what they can, corrode things. I am putting up submerge and charging over with the uh, snap jaw to get in position. Same thing, wrong eye submerging, just kind of moving on over. Make my pools and uh, kind of just getting to position here for next time. Now, <laughs> one of the things I'm already kind of noticing is, man... I need to get myself some 5-inch rings because trying to deal around with these uh, normal templates is kind of a pain. Alright, so on his turn, this is where I realized, oh yeah, I forgot that he also has Purify. So Epic Iris was never the real worry, Purify was. So the, the worst thing here, like I already dropped Iron Flesh, so that wasn't really part of the equation. The big thing was the Animus on Snapchat. So whereas I thought it was Submerge, he wouldn't be able to shoot me and I'd be safe. Uh, yeah, 
he, I kind of screwed up here, and now he's going to be able to kick my butt. Luckily, I get saved because my opponent makes, uh, first of all, uh, kind of a mistake there in order of activations, uh, doing one of the Reckoners first before the Choir do plus two, plus two, and because of that, he actually missed a shot. Uh, then when he did the auxiliary shot there from the Vassal, he actually then, I think, missed or did crappy damage as well. So Vilmont charges in and does some okay damage, but could have been a lot more, and basically the end story is that Snapjaw survives with like seven boxes or something like that. Otherwise, he has some of his errands charging on the right side, uh, only kills one of the gators, and uh, otherwise, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. And now, at the end of the turn, uh, my uh, my opponent here was a little bit of upset with himself because he then realized, oh my god, I didn't feat. So what should be happening here is I'm almost just locked in place because all my gators, if I move up, I take a POW 14, so dice minus 2, and my guys are going to get destroyed just for advancing at all. Now, that's not up, and I can really do a lot more damage this turn than could have been possible. So on my turn, basically what I'm doing here is I... I uh, go with Ranga, he heals up the aspects and really just throws <laughs> those on and then submerges. And then Snapjaw goes and kills those guys, that also heals them up, D3 for each of those people. Uh, charge in with the Gators, and I'm really doing a lot of damage here, or would be, except he keeps on martyring. Uh, otherwise, same little tricks, I'm going with the, the Gators, or sorry, the, the Spitters going up and just trying to put Corrosion on as many models as possible. Uh... I really tried clearing up the gators so that they could get in there and do some nastiness, but uh, the rasser goes in, you know, throws one guy into another guy, he martyrs, and uh, yeah, I mean, I'm just not able to, to clear that stuff up. So that's kind of unfortunate, or not martyrs, you know, he passes on to some of the other guys. So pretty much that posse is forces to stick around and, and kill off those guys. But uh, at this point here, I'm really starting to push for the scenario. Uh, so I have the... Croak Hunter go over and score one point there on the right, and then I make uh, three of these little marshes here and charge over at Barmus just so I'll be in position next time to try and dominate on the outside, because actually he doesn't have that much stuff over there. Uh, my two remaining uh, Bog Trogs, and by the way, they got decimated just by shooting and stuff, you know, usual <laughs> men off whatever stuff to me, but uh, they charge in to try and kill Rupert, and unfortunately he toughs, so did not happen. But you know, I'm pretty happy with this. I'm in his grill, uh, it's going to be hard for him to shift a lot of his stuff on the left to the right, and uh, I have a pretty strong position here by that right flag. So on his turn, he is able to come over and kill my Bog Trog, so uh, no extra point for me. But otherwise, he's kind of just uh, really messing up my posse on the left. I mean, with those two Reckoners coming in, that was pretty uh, solid damage. So I'm just down the one posse there. And uh, otherwise, he'd move up the battle engine in order to kill my Bog Trogs to free up Rupert. Uh, he does remember defeat here, but now he got a little bit closer than he probably wanted to. So I'm looking at this and seeing that my Rasslers now can charge in there, and as long as I you know, roll some okay dice, I could actually destroy his battle engine, which isn't really key, and they're like, oh man, I need this battle engine dead, but it's just another thing where it takes another one of his pieces out and has that Rassler there that forces him to deal with it and keeps him away from the flag. So he does feat, I'm going to have to deal with that, but uh, I'm feeling pretty good about my position. So uh, that's pretty much what I do. The spitters go up and they're shooting stuff and just making things a real pain. Um, Snapjaw charges in into the one Reckoner. Unfortunately, it does not roll all that great, and I don't think I cripple anything. Oh, I take out the Cortex, but that's not that big of a deal. Uh, I don't want to move much of the Gators here. Like, the one on the left just didn't move at all because I don't want to die. The ones on the right just pretty much came over to really work on the guy that was by the flag. And then, really, once that was done and I came up and I destroyed the battle engine, then Barmus just had to charge over, so I dominate that flag. I mean, I, I could have maybe scored on the center, but he's really making a martyr like crazy, so I just could not kill those guys in the center. But uh, it's already at three points to nothing, which really has him in a really hard spot. So over here, he goes for the only thing that he can, and that's with Harbinger coming over here, trying to do some cataclysms, I think it's called, and just hoping against hope, because even though these little swamps make it so you can't shoot me, you can still target me with magic. So he tries it, he knows it's a very long shot, really doesn't, he even gets like below average dice, 
and that's pretty much it. I'm going to dominate again, and uh, I'm going to win 5 nothing. So, uh, pretty interesting game. Harbinger, uh, definitely there's a lot of things I'm sure he's going to be getting much better uh, with Harbinger. Once, I mean, just for getting to do the feat on that one critical turn really allowed me to get into position, whereas normally he'd be able to advance the line of battle, and I would be on the back foot as far as scenario goes. Uh, because he forgot that, I really got in there. But either way, I'm really liking Barnabas. I can see here, now there's rings down, and that's because I just borrowed my brothers. But uh, pretty much, I'm going to put my Barnabas probably on the sh back shelf there, the back burner, until I get my own set of rings. And then, probably going to play him a lot more, because he's uh, kind of fun. So, there you have it. Hope you like watching. Bye.